friend of mine. Someone I kind of looked up to. I mean, he was married and he worked on that more than anything. I mean, he had a traveling sales job, going all over the country, wherever he had to to sell shit. He volunteered at church on Sundays, handing out pamphlets and shit. I mean, he even spent time on his favorite hobby and went out and played with his team every Tuesday and Thursday night. I mean, he was a busy guy, from what I understand. Well, one night, after a long business trip, his wife picks him up from the train station. How'd it go? It went well. Yeah, I think we're gonna close. How about you? I missed you. It was lonely. Aw, I wasn't gone that long. Could we go visit my parents today? What, now? Sure. Yeah, if that's what you want, sure. Thank you for coming. It means a lot to me. Although his response went unsaid, it didn't go unrecognized. Hey, I want to do something nice for you. I have an idea. Come on. Dolores, she pulls up into a strip club. The bouncing caboose. We're going here? Seriously? Yeah, I thought it would be fun. I thought that I could buy you a lap dance. You know, for shits and giggles. Maybe I appreciate that, but really, I mean, I'm pretty tired. I'll tell you what, why don't we go home, I'll jump in the shower, and then you can give me a lap dance. Oh, come on, it'll be fun. We never do anything like this anyway. Before he could even respond, she was out of the car and headed to the front door. <laughs> Queen, my brother, it's good seeing you, eh? Hey, man. Welcome again, welcome again. Enjoy yourselves, yes? Yeah? Enjoy yourselves. How does he know you? Oh, stayed late after Sunday service. Wanted some help with his wife. Yeah. Trust issues, but I got a good feeling. Okay. My friend, he, he had been to a lot of strip clubs, but this one was, was different. Something was askew. Hey, Quinn. The usual? Me? Uh, yeah. Pangalactic uh, and a martini for my wife. chasing after his wife. By the time he gets outside, his old lady's already halfway down the road and attacked him. Dolores! Buddy, you gotta help me. Just follow that car. You need to know how to use that? Just go! jumps into the cab as soon as they catch up. Baby, honey, sweetheart. Come on, it's not what it looks like. It's you fucking cocksucker. You piece of shit. You son of a bitch. I can't fucking believe you. I am going to make you regret this every day of your very short life. Then, the taxi driver, he turns around and he says... Hey, Quinn. You should have picked up a real bitch this time, didn't you? 
<laughs> hey, and that's how I met our next comic tonight. Put your hands together, make some noise for Mr. Quinn Diaz. Hey, everybody, let's have another big round of applause for your host, Big Murph. Big Murph, everybody. No, no, let me tell you what really happened. She pulls up to a strip bar. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Uh, I'm cutting. Uh,